So you guys are playing the Cow Perigo Heist in GTA 5. You're ready to go and steal some money. You're doing the intel gathering mission and you're looking through the cameras. You make your way over to the vault and you see this. You guys get tequila. That is obviously not what you want. That is the worst primary target that you could steal from doing this heist. So obviously right when you do that, you get pretty damn mad. You exit out of the cameras and you literally jump off the communications tower and kill yourself. Well, lucky for you guys, today I'm going to be telling you how you can steal much better items every single time in this heist, and it's super, super simple to do. So let's get into it. So obviously the first thing you want to do is this intel mission, and once you see the target that you're going to be stealing, obviously if it's tequila, you don't want it to be that. You see it, and you're like, okay, I don't want to steal this. Well, back under the cameras, jump off the communications tower or get spotted by a guard if you're on the bottom level. Then just go back to the airstrip, get back in the plane, and go back to Los Santos. Then once you arrive back in the city, what you guys are going to want to do is call up Pavel right away and cancel the heist. Now, everybody will be able to do this as long as you completed the heist the first time stealing the Madrazo files. As long as you've done that, then you guys should be good to go with this. So like I said, call Pavel, cancel the heist, and then return your submarines to storage, request your sparrow in or the buzzard from your CEO options, and then request the submarine in once again so it spawns closer to you. And then once you do that, all you guys are going to want to go do is start up the intel gather mission once again. Then once you guys have started up this mission once again, you're back at the island, you want to run right over here and grab this motorcycle, then follow the route that I go in the video just so then you can do this the fastest because obviously you don't want to take a very long time doing this. So you want to hop on the bike and pretty much just go off-roading straight across and start driving dead ahead to the communications tower. Then once you guys get to the point where that beach party is, all you're going to do is drive right over that little path and make your way to one of the gate entrances where there's a bunch of guards, there's a sniper tower, cameras, and where all the cars are pretty much driving around. Once you guys get to this spot, you'll be able to drive through this little gate to your left just make sure you watch out for one guard he will be walking along that road to the left so make sure you don't let him see you there might be a car or two driving on the road over here as well so just wait till they drive by and then you could drive straight through here and into this middle patch of grass now once you get here you might get caught on these trees so just kind of ignore those but once you get over here there will be a guy in a sniper tower looking to your right just wait until he looks away and then you guys can pretty much just drive straight across this and onto this road right here and make your way straight over to the communications tower in about one minute. Just because of course you don't want to take a very long time doing this, you want to make money and obviously if this helps you make money then it's definitely worth it for you guys to do. And then once you get over to the communications tower, make your way to the signal box and go and hack that thing and see what your primary target is. So as you guys can see, I just completed the hack and now I'm going to go and look on the Sightseer app on my phone for what my primary target is going to be. Now if you guys want to do this really quick as well, start going right on the cameras instead of left. You'll only have to look through four cameras before you get to the vault, just so then you don't have to look through a bunch of other stuff. But you guys can see right here, I'm going to go inside the vault and boom, I'm going to be stealing the ruby necklace. Now obviously that is not much better than tequila. If you guys want to know the exact things you want to steal, tequila is worth 900k. The ruby necklace is worth 1 million, the bearer bonds are 1.1 million, the diamond is 1.3 million, and the sapphire panther I believe is 1.7 or 1.9 million dollars. Obviously, you guys are going to want to do this if you guys are going to be stealing the ruby necklace or tequila. You guys could see I did not get too lucky here because I got the ruby necklace. Honestly though, that's not too bad of a primary target. It's better than the tequila. I spent an additional 10 minutes redoing this intel mission and I managed to get an extra $100,000 when I actually do the finale of this heist. Now you guys might get a lot luckier than me. The first time I did this, I actually got the ruby necklace and when I redid the intel mission, I got the diamond diamond and that's pretty much when I was testing this out to make sure it was all good and working and obviously the diamond is worth 1.3 million so in that case I made myself another two hundred thousand dollars for spending another 10 minutes doing this now you guys might get extremely lucky you might get tequila the first time and you're like you know what I'm gonna spend the extra 10 minutes redoing this and then you guys go and do it and you find out that you get the sapphire panther and make yourself almost double what you would have just done so you can honestly make a lot more money by doing this obviously you don't want to do this if you're stealing something like the pink diamond or of course the sapphire panther 
because then you'll be making like the most amount of money you possibly can. So obviously you want to do this if you're stealing tequila, maybe the ruby necklace, and the bearer bonds are honestly the one in the middle. $1.1 million is not that bad, so you really don't need to do this little trick if you guys want to steal that. And like I say in all of the videos that I make on how to make money in this game, this will take you about 10 minutes to do at most. It shouldn't take you any longer than that. So if you can make this money that you're going to be doing, stealing whatever target you are in the actual heist, if you can make this money somewhere else in GTA 5, it's not worth it for you to do. Now, from what I know, that's kind of hard to do. Now, the only way I know you could do this is if you were doing it for 100k, just like I'm doing in the video. I got tequila and then I got the ruby necklace. And you guys know the ruby necklace is worth $1 million. Tequila is worth 900k, so I made an additional 100k when I'm going to do the finale. If I can make 100k in free mode in 10 minutes, it's not worth it for me to do. But let's say I got tequila the first time, and then after I got the diamond, the diamond is worth 1.3 million dollars. That's an additional 400 thousand dollars that I will make doing the finale. And I know for a fact you cannot make an additional 400 thousand dollars in free mode in about 10 minutes. The only way I know you can make a pretty decent amount of money extremely fast in free mode is sourcing a vehicle and then selling it and hoping that vehicle is high end, then you will make 100k in probably like 10, maybe 15 minutes. But still, it's definitely worth it to do this if you guys get tequila or even the ruby necklace, and as long as you get something better afterwards, then this is definitely worth it for you guys to do. But if you get tequila when you actually do this intel mission, make sure you do this because afterwards you're guaranteed to get something better than that and make yourself more money in the finale. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.